Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Disciples Liberation. In the last episode we escaped from, well, the, the Hall of Lost Souls for want of a better way of putting it. Let's just uh, gather up the tiny resources that have accumulated uh, since I finished the last episode. Uh, we're going to return uh, to Greyleaf as much as we have finished the quest there, uh, as in like the main quest. There is still a whole bunch of stuff that we haven't done here. Uh, including this blocked pathway and there was another one actually in the Hall of Souls which I think we'll probably want to go and take a look at plus there's that ruined tour and I don't know precisely how we can get at that. Also we haven't been up to the throne to see what the throne is all about since it's like a throne. No it's just a throne. Just a throne. That's what caused us to die in the first place. Uh, we need a little bit of healing. So before we go anywhere else, let's do that. <clears throat> right, and then this ruined tour is just around here. Again, I... I don't know if we can get in from here or if we're going to have to come from a different angle. I do think this is... This is a non-thing. We might have actually have to come from somewhere else. Get into that. Well, we don't have somebody who can lockpick, so we can't get into the sealed tombs. So. I guess we're going back into the Hall of Souls. We could, uh, we could definitely, like, pop to the block pathway there. But we'll go into the the hall and, and see what that gives us because it's it's the most relevant to where we were. Plus there were some wandering monsters around in here that we should be able to take out. So last time uh, we just tried to do a pure run for the exit. Let's, uh, let's have a look see if we can find a way of opening these doors and grab some of the loot. There in the cell, a familiar sight. Mathieu, barred extraordinaire, shackled, alone and trapped. You're popping up when I least expect you. Well, I suppose jail actually makes sense. Very funny. You knew the undead would have such an allergy to grave robbing. Well, you're a thief? I oh, should have known. Uh, we hate thieves now? No, or not technically. I'm a bard, just a very undervalued one, and money is money. Yeah, it sounds like you need a partner. Our problem isn't the grave robbing. Ori and I do that all the time. Your problem is you're doing it alone. Fair play. And a lesson I intend to take to heart. I travel alone, but I work best when you're close by. Get me out of here and I'll prove it to you. Split your loot and it's a deal. Give me half of whatever you found when you were grave robbing. For heavens, you haven't changed a bit. Fine. Deal. What's mine is yours now. The guard should have a key. Okay. I'll take care of it. I'll tell you to stay put, but... Yeah. Very funny. Very funny, Abby. Let's go find that guard and that should give us the key for the cells. Books on alchemy and necromancy. The mad scribblings of the king of Alchemar. Oh, we've got some gold. There is a lever. Which I don't think is going to affect any of the ones back the other way. But we should take these guys out. Because we're going to have to fight them at some point, And we're actually well geared at the moment. And it's all extra experience, you know. Ooh, you're right up in our face, aren't you? Okay, well, we can get the regen. It's just a spectre, but we can hit it relatively quickly. Ooh, the werewolves are going to move first. All right. Let's, you mess with Abby, you mess let's with go me. invisible. I'll see them. We'll step in. We're going to get flaming weapons on everyone, I think. 
And we'll wait it out, I think. We could move one up. Just to bait in this guy. He's going to move four. One, two, three, four. So he would be able to get in close enough. Yeah, let's all right. Let's, let's do that. You can wait. Four werewolves is a bit much, I will say that. Uh, you can wait as well. So they've all decided they're going to wait. Let's... Let's step in, get the flank, and wallop. It's not quite what I was expecting. Uh, you can wait so we can get some healing in after the fact. You can wait so we can get some chain lightning in. You can wait so we can potentially get some more healing in as well. Ow! This is going to be very painful. Okay, that might actually just get us through the worst of it. But suffice to say, I'm not happy about that. Not happy one iota. You are not going to be in range. Curses. Alright. Just run in, and we'll try and tank it over this side. That is a terrible start. Very painful. Okay. We'll go Retribution and Retribution. We can come in and smack one of these guys. We don't want to silence ourselves, so let's do it from here. really want to, to specifically detonate them either. Let's step down and we'll get a chain over over this side. That's a good amount of damage. Look at that. Uh, you need some healing. So we'll take care of that before it becomes a problem problem. Okay. We can step in and get the flank strike on this guy. Feel my blades Damn! Powerful. You're done. Paralyze. And because we've already tackled that, we can step through to the other side. Moving. Don't mind about the silencing at this point. You're taunted, so you have no choice in what you're doing, which is unfortunate. Yeah, this is going to be painful. Very painful. Still in it. Oh, still just about in it. We need some some healing over here. And. A little bit of nuking. I am his vessel. Just to help out. Okay. You're paralyzed. We can focus on you mostly. And we should think about who else to target. It's you over there. I really don't want to lose any more K 
characters. But those who are left can tank for a little bit. We can get paralysis off with our demon. And that'll hopefully give us time to do some uh, some healing. Okay. You're going to step in and just like I'll sneak past them. You mess with kill one of these. You mess with me. Oh, or miss. Missing is always an option. You're mine. <laughs> Youch. Painful but manageable. Get the paralysis off. Okay, he should die before he gets a chance to act next. Detonate, unfortunately, isn't quite as useful as I would hope because it will hurt our infernal golem over here. We can maybe get away with it up this side. Yeah, it counts. Totally counts. Okay, incoming pain. You just died, that's great. Uh, we're not going to be able to target anyone without getting closer, so let's just move in. You kind of need to heal up, but you've got a healer of the High Father coming in. But if we heal you, it can go on our infernal demon. Okay, Ori, gonna try again. Moving. Let's move. Now you see me. Feel the snakes. Moving. Cool. Finally got him. You've got no oomph left in the tank, so you just move on up. Still got our War Priestess. Our War Priestess is not feeling very well, but that's fine. That is not what I meant to do. I meant to click on Mace Strike. Alright, I guess we are making things harder for the sake of it. That is thankfully the last of them. Sacrifice. So that takes us to level 19. We lost another War Priestess. They do seem to be the first to go, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to have a lot of training to do amongst our people. So let's take this opportunity to step back out for a moment and we'll return to Yillian and get everyone leveled up. It'd be nice to be able to um, teleport back from within a dungeon, but I understand why they don't do that, because you might have dodged guards and all kinds of other other reasons. Okay, we'll do companions first. And the only reason we're needing to train these up is because most of them weren't with us when we were escaping. Okay, next up. Tower of Darkness, there is nothing there. Let's phase it out. And we will phase in Stone Ring. Train up all our shadow casters. Most of these aren't actually part of our units, but they are available just for the convenience. It's just a shame they don't uh, keep 
keep track in terms of the leveling. So next up we will phase in... I suppose we could phase in the graveyard. Oh, we can get... The... Yeah, we haven't built the Dark Mansion yet. We'll just do the graveyard. Mostly money, a little bit of iron. Uh, how are we doing in terms of our units? What do we have left to do? Uh, so we've got the War Priestess, the Sorceress, and the Infernal Golem. And we need to hire one more War Priestess as well. Uh, recruit. And we need to give you... It's funny, the one that had the extra hit points is the one that died. Okay, who is left? Just the regular priestess and the sorceress. Legions of the Damned? Sorceress, yeah. Okay, so we've already got the Halls of Sins out. Where is the regular priestess? Oh, yeah, it is in the temple. That is being weird. Why is it not letting me train her? Ah, because it needs to be a higher tier. And we can't upgrade it because we're not friendly standing with the Empire. Okay, that's fine. She'll just uh, gain at her own rate. We haven't had a look at the marketplace in a while. Let's see who's available. All right. We can get these guys normally anyway, so don't care that much about that. Interesting blue items. So the Vicious Blade, that looks like it would be a big upgrade for Ori. Dexterity, power and critical chance. That's a huge upgrade for us. And that's tier one as well. Okay, we're gonna get that. We're gonna get that. Strength, power, hit points, don't care for a staff. Strength, power, mana, don't care for a staff. Okay, let's very quickly just sort out. Your weapon. Look at this. Dexterity up, power up, critical chance up. So we're going to obviously upgrade that. And for our own equipment... We're not going to be going quite as quickly, but it's still very good for us. Okay, we still need three points over here. So if we go Twilight Might, Twilight Might, and then we could go like one in the Will of Mortis maybe, or start... Yeah, going for Nephilim Power.
I like that. Okay, uh, we need the blacksmith. Upgrade equipment. So, this is the new one. Big step up. And that's the new one that we've gone for. Yeah, that is, that is pretty huge. Okay, so Coruscandra is currently using the Staff of the Pride. Intelligence, Power, Divine Resistance. None of the staves were really interesting. Let's have a look and see what else there is in terms of equipment for us. Because we can, we can just mouse over and hold C what the difference is. Uh, the chain who gives critical chance, which is nice. We're not really doing a lot of melee stuff. So I think I prefer to keep the mana that we have coming in. That's better on the intelligence. But not better overall, I'd say. These are nice. I prefer strength dexterity and something else and my current boots are better that's fine it's, it's good to check in now and then and see uh, and see what they have but we don't want to spend all of our time dwelling there all right so we have a scout that we can't upgrade or well we don't really care that much about uh, we have a banshee that isn't upgraded but other than that everyone else is done so let's head back Return to the dungeon. Now we did switch that lever, so yeah, look at this. Doors are open. Plate boots, we'll check them out at some point. Ah, he's still actually shut in. That's got to be infuriating. Now, I think those were the only wandering guards, but there's probably going to be something else for us to properly get to the nitty gritty of. We do want to check out that gateway. Maybe actually, maybe that's it. Let's, let's talk to the bard and see what he says. Having pushed the, the switch, there, there's nothing else in here, is there? That doesn't go anywhere either. Oh, there is some others down here. I, th I did think that there was others that would be worth us exploring. So we've got some iron. Before we go in and fight them, let's grab what we can. Chain out. Alright. So, the new chain mail. Eh, constitution strength. It's, it's okay. It's not what we want. The new plate boots. They're okay. If they got upgraded. Potentially. That's something where if we had like unlimited resources we'd head back to Yelian and check it out. Uh, let's kill these guys. It should be relatively straightforward compared to the last fight. One, two, three. Yeah, you you can actually come right in. So let's wait and let them come to us. They are not coming to us. But they have wasted their regen, so if they're not coming to us... You will be purged. We'll hit them with what we can. Now we're going to have to cycle around to everyone anyway, but we may as well go the whole hog. Die and be 
getting. Okay, we don't really want the seal of fire, so let's go Orion's cloak. And we're gonna stand just in the way I'll here. Past them. We can get you to step in and end your turn there. And we're gonna cast Blazing Rays? Actually. Yeah, you're not quite in range. We'd need to move quite a bit closer to get you in range. We could maybe get him in range and paralyze him, which would be amusing. Move out. You're mine. He is going to regen. There we go. Right. So this guy. This guy is going to be the brunt of all of our attacks. Might as well get some healing because we do need a little bit of people. He's still in it. Dark Father, be with me. Just in range for a bit of detonate. I mean, that's like really sketchy in range kind of thing. I probably should have shot him actually. It's okay, we'll, we'll make it work. Right, so you're going to die on your turn, effectively. Let's wait here. You have to attack, but then we at least get an action free. Sure, engage both of them. Don't think rampant growth is going to work through. No, it's not. Blazing rays might. Yeah. Face your death. This suffering must end. You will be purged. Wallop, wallop. We could wait for them to come a bit closer. Try and take advantage of the healing that we're going to get. Nice evasion, that's handy. I wait with you, we might get even more chaining. Yeah. That's very painful. And you're just in range to get another attack off. You're beating heart. I must have it. Alright. I'll sneak past them. Take advantage of the uh, flanking bonus. Just like he will. Which is really painful, but it's fine. So there's a regular hit. Takes out the werewolf. This is going to be a big healing combi hit. And there is the chain lightning that we love so much. Right. Feel my blades bite. There's one kill. Feel the snake bite. And immediately knocks down the other one. Me. Love it. Uh, you can wait up the top, actually. Because we can get paralysis off here. And I think he's going to die pretty quickly. Okay, one down. Just that one left. Uh, I want some healing. 
down here. Just to, to take the edge off. And we can focus focus down fully with Corisandra. Wallop. There it goes. Okay, bit of experience, bit of gold. Always love to see it. And also love... Ooh, a treasure chest hidden in the shadows. You find a collection of papers clearly torn from a larger volume. The Tome of Mortals. These are instructions, maybe curses. It's impossible to tell. They're arcane rituals, instructions on how to second wake each race of Nevendar. From death to renewed life. Uh, definitely going to read it. The tome tracks arcane rituals dating back to the fourth epoch, the epoch of Decidius, in which Mortis was born from the charred corpse of Solonil. In the end of the fifth epoch, the epoch of Rotoran, in which the dwarven keeper of knowledge, Memnor, was possessed by Mortis. These rituals describe how she possessed him and how she spread the plague across Akmar. Akmar, that's the ancient name for Greyleaf. The forests here have been cursed since. The lost one, they say, is the only necromancer to have survived that plague, and so Mortis made him king. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep reading. What harm ever came from reading a book, eh? What follows are grotesque descriptions of ritual sacrifice and torture unlike anything you've seen before. The author delights in the agony and mutilation of various species, cataloguing the uses of various bodily organs and various spells. Death comes for us all, but I didn't know how much joy death takes in our suffering. Okay, uh, we do have more minions coming in. I think we're going to have to fight them. Invaders! Die, invaders! Well, we didn't really have a choice in this, but... I guess we will put them in their place. Now we could just go straight in and try and do like max damage on them. We could run it with Ori, get a stab, we'll get paralysis on this guy. Yeah. Now you see Alright. Let's uh Feel the snake's bite. Let's commit to the assault. You can get regen and get paralysis on this guy. <laughs> You're mine. That's a massive, massive hit of paralysis. Moving. Miss me. That's brilliant. All right. So who do we want to nuke? Focus on yeah. Focus on the existing damaged. If in doubt, that is almost always the way to go. Uh, we can finish this off up here. And... Yeah, start coming forwards. I don't know if we want to go for the big... Actually, you know what? We'll go for the big hit. There we go. One more gone. It does mean we're in the potential to be attacked, but it's not too bad. Okay, step a bit forwards and we'll get to detonate over here. We don't need to do healing because we're going to have heal of the High Father. Ow, that was a big hit. All right, who are we taking out? Feel my blade you. Bite. You mess with Abby, you mess with me. Uh. 
just do what you can against him. It'd be good to get paralysis on him again, but I don't think that's going to happen. Move out. So instead, we'll just focus on Die. what damage output we can do. Yeah, it's not too bad in terms of damage. Let's not get closer, we'll just this instead try and put as much damage out as quickly as possible. Uh, we can get some healing in along with this hit. There's a solid strike there. If we step up, we'll give a flanking bonus for next time. He's dead to the backline troop. We'll do chain lightning because it does a little bit more damage and it might slow him down enough that our golem can actually finish him off. Alright, just a couple of rust maces, that's nothing to worry about. Feel the snake's bite. One Feel dead, bite. two I dead. Good at this. Ori is getting good at it, that's for certain. And that finishes off the guards. Bit of money, bit of experience. Protruding from the twitching, fleshy waist of your attacker, a small, shiny object. You plunge your hand in and rip out a small, mucus-covered key. Well, we know who that's going to be for. Uh, so let's start heading back that way. But unfortunately, that's going to have to be next time because we are out of time for today. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Disciples Liberation. See you soon.